So, hello everyone, it's time for It's a Kaisen review, right? It's back, baby, it's awesome. I mean, of course, my favorite scene, right, was either the broom scene. I don't know why, but I like the maid. I like the maid, it's like, I'm gonna protect my maid, you know, I've been working for my whole life, it's like my daughter kind of thing ish. And she's like, let's fight! Because <laughs> I'm with the broom, and it's like, hits him in the nuts with the broom. I was like, this is the shit, man! I loved it. Otherwise, you know, I really loved, of course, the whole concept of God you're going to an all girl school, right? I mean, it was yourself. It's Kevin is seeing all the girls are like, please do me, God, go, God, go, God! <laughs> but guys, love this scene so much, guys. Yeah, all the women, of course. I mean, it's all, I mean, I call it. I was like, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> Sensei is like, please, uh, let's have sex after school. <laughs> the Sensei is like, I'm horny. <laughs> Shut up, girls! I want to do him! <laughs> I've been waiting for the maid fight, guys. I've been waiting for the maid fight. I know she's gonna be the coolest character. Here we go. Ultimate martial art. <laughs> it did be the dance sweet. I mean, yeah, the whole thing there, right? When he, <laughs> the teacher, especially when the teacher is like, Oh no, girls, you can't talk to a boy like this. Hey, it's my number, you have a gun, do it later, right? <laughs> it's like, it's like, that whole thing was awesome. Uh, but yeah, another great episode. I mean, the anime is so uh, fast paced, right? It really is. I mean, I like Shonen, you know, whatever, One Piece, Naruto, whatever, right? But it's a kind of really fit how incredibly fast paced it is. But it's, but it's both funny and it's good action, right? Because you're laughing at the whole school scenes, right? But you also had, I'm thinking about, man, it's been, there's so many bad things. That's one thing I think with anime that this person are so quick. Maybe I'm just used, you know, to the old school animes, like One Piece currently, it's one of them, kind of, but honestly, maybe I'm just used to this old school shonen where I feel like every fight, even the supporter fight has taken like 10 minutes, right, per least per fight, more like 10 episodes per character. Because here we have so having like three, four fights and they're already over. And I'm sure there are story cats that come in later. But I think that just feels still kind of refreshing. Honestly, it's kind of that. Yeah, you have a fight. You know, it's like it's like a summoner versus a summoner battle. And it's over, you know what I mean? It's over. The episode start with them just defeating these guys off screen, right? Which I heard a little bit, maybe I'm going to see that. But still, it's just like there's so many guys, you know, taken out, right? Uh, either in a few minutes or they're taking these guys out off screen or whatever, right? Where I feel like Naruto or One Piece or whatever, right? That this, this, all this character here in this episode, right? Like this maid fight would have been like an episode in One Piece, yeah, literally. Her, her fight against this clone guy, only this part would have been like 55 minutes of her fighting him with the broom for like 50 minutes, right? You know what I mean, honestly. And uh, those guys again, then they were taken out um, off screen, right? There will be in one episode, you know, each probably <laughs> something like that. But, but it actually, yeah, it feels so refreshing. Honestly, you watch this anime, you're like, wow, they have a lot of cats going down, and it happens immediately. And sure, these are all not the, the biggest baddies, whatever. Of course, they are. But still, yeah, it's very, very fast, right? And then, like I said, the mixture between the comedy and the action is always just is just ten out of ten. Yeah, it's just ten out of ten, perfect, right? We have it's really funny and also really, you know, looks really good, right? Yeah, the action is one. Godio, of course, come off almost as a bad guy for a bit. Yeah, Godio straight up looks like gonna kill him. He was floating in there, but then of course, yeah, I'm just lying. I'm just, I'm just teasing you. Yeah, that was cute. Because there was a moment there, I was like, man, Godio looks a little more evil when he was younger, a little more eager to, you know, kill the baggers or whatever. So that was a nice uh, spoof there. I thought he was gonna kill him first. I was like, ah, I'm just kidding. I'm just gonna punch you. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, kind of like that, right? That's a good thing too, though. I don't, I was the thing, I don't really get though the point of all this like gambling in the boats. I mean, I'm sure it's gonna be explained later, right? Um, in the reaction part, I'm of course guessing that he's gonna have a power based on luck or something, or I don't know, telepath, telekinetic or something. Because it felt like for a moment that he was controlling, really like affecting the race. And I was thinking that, well, if you're into gambling, of course, if you're into gambling, you know, if you like to gamble on horse races and boats or whatever, right? And you have some kind of spiritual power, right? Like people in this anime, you certainly be used to cheat, right? Right? Even if you don't compete yourself, like riding or whatever in a horse race, you can obviously use your powers to summon a ghost or whatever, right? To hurt the horse, you know, yeah, and like make the older riders trip or whatever. So there certainly is a lot of like stuff you could do there, depending on what powers you have, right? For example, summoning ghosts, like I told you, that would be quite effective, right? Godius power obviously would be effective to just like you know make someone trip or whatever. Um, so I'm thinking he has. Yeah, I'm thinking he has a power to affect the race somehow, but then he still loses the race. The thing, yeah, but he still loses the race. 
but then he also might just be an honorable guy. Like, I don't think he's like honorable, but I think he might have some kind of base honor where he's like, I don't want to use my powers, right, to win a race because, you know, that, that's, that is no fun, right? Because even if you're evil, if you like gambling, you don't want to use your powers to ruin the gambling race, right? Because then what's what's fun in it. But at the same time, I'm imagining he's kind of left the house there during the race. But I imagine next episode we're going to see him, how he did affect the race. Because I think that, like, basically, I don't think he does affect gambling races unless he gets angry, you know what I mean? Like, at base value, he doesn't cheat or whatever, right? But if he loses a few times and he gets pissed off, right? Then it's probably like, okay, that rider's dead or whatever. Yeah, then it probably cheats. That, that would be my guess. Like, he doesn't cheat, you know, in the first race. But, like, after a whole Sunday of losing in the, on, on the horse track, then it's like, okay, they're they going to cheat. You, you, the horse is faster now. You know what I mean? I think so. Um, but otherwise, I'm guessing it's very randomly. Because I, I can't remember Anna having this kind of power in this guy said. He might have, like, a lucky base power. We haven't seen that in the one with RNG, right? Where they can maybe randomize effects of the means. Maybe he likes to gamble, he's a random guy. And maybe sometimes he wins big, right? Because his powers activate sometimes something. Uh, for example, in Bay Clover, you have... I don't spoil too much in Bay Clover, but... You have a character... He's like a character, whatever. He, he, he has a character that he can throw dice, right? And he rolls the dice. And if he rolls like a six or whatever, he does, does more damage. So, something like that. Yeah, something like that. Like he throws dice and... He, he, they get like a better magic depending on what he rolls, so 1 to 6, right? Like 2 dice, like 1 to, <laughs> one to 12, 2 to 12, that. And then he gets power up late in the show, minus spoilers, and then he only rolls 6s or whatever. <laughs> yeah. His power up isn't that he gets stronger ultimate magic in an anime. His power is that when he, gets, when, he, yeah, when he gets stronger random power, he can remove the random effect. But actually, it's something pretty terrible because he still only has exact maximum damage, right? More or less, yeah. I, if you have a random power, I would I would rather have a bigger disparity. Let's say you can roll two dices, right? And they get 12 to do the most damage. Uh, and if you have guaranteed to have a time, it probably is better. But given how, you know, every enemy is, right? I would rather have a third dice set, you know, so I can, I can roll 18, right? So I would rather have more random, but a bigger span. So if I fight a god guy like Godio, I can be like, three dices, 18, he's dead. <laughs> you know what I mean? Ultimate damage! But maybe that's, that's maybe something like that. I don't know. He's like, um, I, I admit it. I don't really get the point of the water race. Well, I mean, he's building up his character, right? But yeah, I don't get what's <laughs> me. Well, he did ruin the guy's food. And I was like, yeah, I guess so. Um, but anyway, yeah, the maid got, gets kidnapped in the end, right? And of course, they're like family. It's not going to go and save her, right? And um, I still believe, like I said last week, I still believe that she will die, right? I think there's some kind of build up here. Because I'm just thinking, like, what is all... Again, I mean, I'm on a course, but I'm thinking, what is the point of this arc, right? With Gordio. So that's just building up Gordio's character. But what is the point of this arc if they, if they succeed, right? And I think... I'm just thinking, like, what's going to be the issue when we go back to the present time, right? Either the girl is somehow not going to merge perfectly, the thing in summer, right? And then the Barry thing doesn't work properly, or she's going to come back or something like that. But I think it's more that they're going to fail. I think that they're going to fail in the end of this, this arc. And that's probably the build-up for this main kidnapping, I think. They're going to fail. And then, you know, when we go back to the present time, right? You know, uh, whatever that happens. But I'm guessing later in the show, right? Uh, then, of course, that they fail here is going to be important later, right? Because it's the better thing. So, yeah, I feel quite convinced that they're going to fail. Right? What do you guys think? But not spoil, of course. <laughs> I don't make it. But I feel quite convinced they're going to fail. Or at least not perfectly succeed, right? And also, the maid thinks I'm dying, right? Yeah, I said earlier that didn't make her die. The maid, she's not in the current storyline. I think she's willing to die to save her maiden, you know, save her princess. She's probably gonna die too, yeah. I think the maid has a high death flag. Uh, but anyway, please subscribe, like button, and I'll see you guys with Ronnie Kenshin coming up.